What is up guys, it's Max Merck here. And uh, today's video is a bit of a different kind of video. Um, uh, not really much of a car review or anything. I'm gonna be talking a lot about myself in this video and uh, this car. Now, uh, some of you may know from the older videos, some of you may not. This is uh, my actual car. It's a 2008 uh, C300 Luxury. And um, the reason I'm making this video is because of that. So, uh, yesterday I was coming home and a deer, well, almost two deers, but a deer hit this front fender. And, uh, this is going to be a little update video on this car and kind of just introduce, I mean, everyone, I've had this car for several years now, but, um, I just want to kind of say for the record, this is my car. It's a 2008 C300. Got these really sweet Max Merck stickers. Do a little walk around for you guys. And, uh, not going to lie, but 2017 is been a pretty bad year when it comes to cars for me um i guess i don't know maybe just the car gods don't like me this year but uh we used to have a hyundai elantra uh this car and a hyundai elantra and my dad actually totaled that car um so we ended up going out and buying a volkswagen jetta to replace that car um so that's one car total um and we got a jetta and i really love that jetta i, I haven't really made a video on that or i don't know if i will but maybe i'll show it in another video it's a 2017 uh, Jetta, we bought a brand new, love the car, you know, great car in my opinion. Um, starting to really like Volkswagens uh, because of that car. And uh, and then this, now uh, you guys can't see it because it's been repaired, but earlier this uh, summer, summer 2017, uh, I had a friend who accidentally backed into this rear quarter panel. Um, and it was really bad, I'll, I'll show you guys an actual picture. So this is the car. Um, the night that this happened, I mean, we were on a very dark driveway and uh, my friend's car is kind of hard to see out of it. Um, so it was not, it was an accident, of course, um, but it was a huge dent right on uh, this rear left quarter panel. Huge. It was really bad. Uh, you know, it took about a week, a uh, week and a half to fix. And uh, the total repair bill was around four grand. But um, you can never tell that this actually happened because what they did was... Um, uh, the body shop they cut and welded a whole new rear quarter panel um, But they did an amazing job like you can't tell anything everything is smooth to the touch They blended the paint extremely well. It's like nothing ever happened and next up the tires on my car are pretty much shot They're gone. Um, they're bald. I mean if you look at this inside part, it's literally smooth bald all this is smooth There's like little pieces kind of falling off and on, on the back um, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but the cords are actually showing. Yeah, so you can see a little bit of the cords on the back. Overall, this car has just been through a lot this year. And now let's get to the story of last night and what happened right here. So, um, so what happened was I was about like two, three minutes away from home. I was driving home from a friend's house and, uh, you know, 35 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. Um, just not, not too fast. And then it's a, it's a, like a, it's like a, two lane road um like one going one direction and then the other lane is oncoming and uh there's like a forest to each side and you know it's kind of dark can't see anything it's about 11 30 at night and i'm just going you know 40 miles an hour just chilling and one deer hops out in front of the car i slam the brakes or i mean i go i, I mean the, the the first deer misses the car so i get on the brakes and then before i know it literally in a split second another deer hops out right in front of the car and what happens is that deer is like i'm going it's about to hit right here of the car right here and then i slam the brakes so hard that like i slammed the brakes so hard that you could like some smoke came off but yeah i just slammed the brakes as hard as i could and i swerved the car left to try and avoid it i mean i didn't avoid it and uh, it ended up hitting right here bang right there and uh nothing happened to the deer i mean literally just like he didn't even fall down it just he banged into it and he turned around and ran away and uh never saw that deer again so i pulled over to assess the damage you know i was expecting to see some frontal damage up here and um no nothing it was just right here i got really lucky because if i hadn't have swerved um to the left or if i hadn't have gone on the brakes when i did then it would have hit right up here in the front and you know i mean headlights are expensive this entire front fascia would have been extremely expensive um to repair and it would have just been a huge huge pain and then the airbags would have probably gone off too, and then uh, that's a whole nother headache on its own. 
So I got really lucky in that the only parts that got damaged were this front fender piece right here. This is what it should look like. And then there's a small little dent right here on the door, but um, I'm sure that can be removed paintless. When I actually called my parents, uh, I called my parents like, pretty much just when it happened. And uh, I mean, like w when the, when my friend hit back here, I called my parents. It was, uh, it was really chaotic. I mean, you can imagine um, any parent, when you tell them that even if your friend hit the car, it's just like, they were extremely upset. Um, I mean, that, that ended up getting fixed, but I called my mom again last night to tell her about the deer and she flipped out on me. And um, I mean, both of these accidents weren't really my fault. One, my friend hit me by accident. The other one, a deer jumped in the front of the road. I swerved, not much I can do. And she was mad. And then I told her the cost of the part. Luckily, it's not like the other one that was four again. Cause on the other side, on this side, this is actually part of the car's, um, the structure of the car. This is all one piece. So that would have been extremely expensive and not labor intensive. But luckily, a fender is just a piece that can be popped out, and then can be popped in. This part, um, I was, I've been checking online, they range from between 60 to $100 uh, primed um, and ready to be painted. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and order a new piece and uh, get it painted, get a quote for how much it's gonna cost to get it painted. And yeah, my parents made me pay for uh, um, half the cost to get new tires. Uh, Michelin Pilot Sport all seasons. So as I was saying like I've, I haven't really done any kind of personal videos um, So I decided why not we'll do a kind of personal video talk about myself talk about the car Also, uh, I if you guys want to follow me on Instagram you guys can follow me at Max Moinfar It's uh, M-A-X-M-O-I-N-F-A-R. I'll put it on the screen somewhere over here and yeah guys That's uh, it's pretty much an update video also want to thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers, you know, uh, that really means a lot to me. Um, I know the CLA video has over like 1.6 million views and you know, I, that's just crazy for me. I never ever would have um, expected a video to just blow up and get like over 1.6 million views. That's just crazy for me. And uh, I really appreciate all those who watch and I appreciate those who subscribed. Um, like I said, we hit the 10, it's like 10,300 subscribers now. See you guys in the next video.